In carpet bombing attacks during World War II and the Vietnam conflict, huge numbers of unguided gravity bombs were dropped, causing massive damage and indiscriminate casualties. Today, precision is the key word. The aim is to deliver just enough explosive power to destroy a specific target and no more. The small diameter bomb, or SDB, is a self-guided munition designed to reduce collateral damage. The small diameter bomb is the latest precision guided munition for the Air Force. Uh, as its name says, it's a very small weapon. It gives us a standoff range of anywhere uh, up to 40 miles or outside of, and as little as inside of 10 nautical miles. Uh, it also gives us options for hardened or uh, soft type targets, which gives us a lot of flexibility out in the AORs. At less than six feet in length, the SDB allows aircraft to carry more munitions to a greater number of targets, increasing the strike rate permission and maximizing the effective reach. And it's accurate. Before takeoff or even during flight, the target's coordinates are loaded into the SDB. Uh, we can be going away from the target, uh, release the weapon, and uh, because it's GPS guided and because of the way it was designed, it will actually uh, turn around and fly back to the target. A single SDB weighs in at just 250 pounds. That's half the weight of the smallest bomb previously used by the Air Force, the Mark 82. But since four times as many can be carried, the SDB hugely increases the effective strike rate. Having this high loadout or multiplying it by a factor of four is a, is a real force multiplier for the Air Force. They can now service four times as many targets on a given sortie with the small diameter bomb. We can carry multiple uh, small diameter bombs uh, on this jet. Uh, that, along with the snapper pod, we can get uh, targeting data from an array of onboard sensors and offboard sensors, uh, which allow us to hit various targets with uh, pinpoint accuracy. To make the most of this pinpoint accuracy, the SDB actually carries a smaller amount of explosives than its predecessors. The uh, small diameter bomb uh, allows us to hit just a portion of a building, uh, whether it be a back room or an office. We can put that SDB into that office, not destroy the entire building itself. The adjustable fuse has several detonation modes, including airburst and impact. The fuse in the back of the warhead case uh, has an impact switch that senses the impact and can either detonate the explosive on impact or can delay off of that impact so that if you're penetrating a hard target, it can delay until it's inside the structure before it detonates. In delay mode, the SDB can actually penetrate through more than three feet of reinforced concrete before it detonates. A lot of battle situations where you have to pass up the target because of concern that the large blast produced by most of the current weapons uh, will damage so much property and injure so many innocent civilians. This gives you the capability to attack that target by providing low collateral damage and not have to worry about it, killing so many innocent people. A single short-range SDB carries just 50 pounds of tritonal high explosive, giving it a relatively low fear factor. But its small size and low cost mean this firepower is usually much